food choices has never been easier, and I'm so excited to have Chef Trevor Louis here to show us how to make our own. Hi, Hi Trev. I like the fact that you were all about the veggies and all about making them into comfort food and sort of getting us to expand the palate when it comes to healthy eating. Yes, because I mean, it doesn't have to just it has it, it doesn't have to always be meat based. Correct. Right? And I mean, vegetables have really had a bad rap over the years. They have because it feels like people want veggies and it's too light, but we're finding ways to get, make them a little more hearty. Yes. So people can choose one day, like a meatless Monday. So right. we got different things going on in our restaurants that are really plant forward and, and very summery too for this year, so. So we're gonna deal with cauliflower. But cauliflower. from what I understand, we're, there's a deep fryer in the picture. There is. It will there be is. deep fried. It is. Which every, put anything in there and it's good. Yeah, donuts, right? pizza, whatever yes. you want, throw it in. Okay. Batter it and fry it. Absolutely. So how do we start well, with the cauliflower? Here's the one thing about cauliflower, or vegetables. Everyone thinks just because you're having vegetables, it's healthy. Sometimes you want to eat chicken wings. Yes. Right? So we're going to make cauliflower chicken wings. Okay. Without the chicken. Without the chicken, right? So, wings. Well, wings. So we're going to break yeah. down some cauliflower. Right now it's a great season for cauliflower. And what we're going to also do is we're going to make this uh, gluten-free. Okay, good. Right? So people are like, oh, how are you going to batter and make it gluten-free? We're going to use cornstarch. All right. But you can put anything you want in it. So what we'll do is we get a little bit of cornstarch. So you're just have. not going to give us the Trevor Louis We're not uh, going to give it to you. I mean, this is a dish uh, my partner created years ago and it's the best seller's restaurant. We've okay. just taken it and made different versions of it over the years now Lovely. and it's like one of our best sellers so okay. basically when you get cauliflower tell now, us the restaurant so we can go there well right now we just launched a fairly new brand called good karma good karma we're going to be opening two over the next week which will give us six in the toronto area yeah very good Trav. so we're really excited about that so you what you want to do is you want to get florets okay. you know nice chunks that kind of almost resemble a chicken wing like mm -hmm. a drumette right now because it's in season i would say cauliflower right now is perfect or you can go frozen during the winter time it's already pre-cut that you can ready get to the grocery go. store. So we're just gonna dredge it in some cornstarch, really, really easy. Okay. Right, and then we'll have some seasoning here, which we're not gonna tell you what the seasoning is. This is the secret. The seasoning. That makes it even better, actually. Right. So what, should, do I tell them to go to the website and it's just gonna be blank? Correct. <laughs> Correct. CityLine.tv. And then look, Trevor we, we had some that we already oh, seasoned. Oh, look at it. Like through it's the like magic the, of television. It's like the uh, sweet and sour chicken. That's almost. like definitely not got that, Chinese, but you buy it at the Chinese restaurant. It's almost got that like buffalo mm. nuclear color, right? Yes. So we're going to drop these into the fryer. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to sauce these up after once they're ready. Yeah, I'm already you know, into I mean, it. Just put them all in. Just do it all. all Why not? Okay. So Fry while we're doing that, up. I want to I want to do a rice dish. Yeah, let's do that. Because I want to do a rice dish that's a little healthier. A lot of people tend to want to eat brown rice and wild rice, but you know, it's um, dry sometimes right. or it's bland. So yeah. what we want to do is we want to create one that you can eat in summertime. It could be eaten room temperature or cold or warm. Okay. So we've got some wild rice and some basmati. Nice, that you're okay. gonna mix together. Yeah, we're gonna mix together. So you're gonna cook first, mix together? Yep, okay, so this is done. That was fast. Yeah, it's real fast. Uh -oh. I'll let you handle that. Okay, perfect. I so, don't have an actual deep fryer at home, but we have like I don't the have two. One at home either. Yeah, like the big pot, the big vat of oil that just sits there when we're not using it. Okay, so that's ready. <laughs> but we're this one's very professional. Put that aside. So with the rice, we mix the rice together. We add a little bit of Cana Canadian canola oil. Yeah. We add a little bit of coconut milk. Oh, nice. Okay. That's flavor Chopped right there. Ginger root. Mm-hmm. Okay. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. This is essentially your rice. Okay. Really fragrant, really flavorful. You can garnish it with anything you want. I like, I have sorrel here. I've got oh, nice. sage, I've got thyme, I've got mint. I'm gonna do a little bit of scallion here. Lovely. And then this is fresh sorrel that I'm gonna do here. Yeah, it's nice. got a really nice flavor, okay. Now, chicken wings, really quick. Okay. This is our secret garlic chili sauce, <gasps> okay. You know, it's all about the sauce. It's all about the sauce. So we're going to yeah. toss it up like this. Okay. Okay. Here we go. It almost looks like chicken wings, but we're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're almost there. What more could we possibly need to do? An onion. Okay, a little bit of onion. Toasted sesame seed. Nice. I know all of our viewers want to know how to make this because it is amazing. Even though it's a secret, Trevor's going to put the recipe on our website. <laughs> We'll give you the core. We'll, we'll, we'll give, give you the, the core, core so you can um, try it out at home, but I, I got to at least try a little bit. A little bit. Oh my gosh. 
Who needs chicken? It's this is so good. Yeah. Thank you.